Hi, I'm Jack McCormick, a farmer from Randolph County, Illinois. And I'd like to tell you how a combine works. You see these great big things in the fields and on the roads, and I'll kind of tell you how, how they work. First up front, this is the combine header. And all this does is cut and gather the crop. It doesn't do any separating of any kind. Uh, these headers come in different styles for different crops. Uh, they come in different sizes, anywhere from 15 feet all the way up to 45 feet, uh, depending on the farmer's needs and how much capacity the combine has that they have. You can see the cab sits right on top, and the cab gives a great view for the operator. Usually the operator doesn't look more than about 10 feet ahead of them in the field. They're watching, they're guiding the machine in the crop, watching for obstructions and different uh, lay of the land, so it gives a great view there. So once the header has handled the crop, it brings it into the combine. There's a conveyor underneath the cab, and it goes into a rotor or a cylinder to actually be separated, the, the grain from the straw back here. This is kind of the, the internal, the guts of the combine, sort of. Uh, there's a, a large rotor in here that takes the grain, still attached to the straw, and takes it around so you get momentum going and gravity and it starts to separate the heavy from the light. And then the grain simply falls through these grates down into a pan of a bunch of adjustable screens that shake and have a big air blast going through them. And that shaking motion, you know, if you have a pan of material and you shake it, the heavy tends to go to the bottom and the light stuff goes to the top. Well, as those screens shake, that's what happens. The grain falls through the holes that we set in it the chaff stays up and along with that heavy air blast takes the light stuff out the back of the machine back onto the ground. So the grain goes into a grain tank uh, where the grain is held while the combine is harvesting right behind the cab up on top and then uh, we have a wagon or a truck something will come alongside of the machine uh, when the grain tank gets full to unload and take it to a mill or a grain bin or, or some place like that. So here we are at the back of the machine. I'll show you the, the internal, the guts, if you want to call it, of how the separation works. We've crawled in the back of the machine to take a look at how the grain actually gets separated from the chaff and the straw. Uh, there are the adjustable screens I talked about are here, and this is actually what shakes as the machine is running. Uh, we can adjust these openings for different grain size, anywhere from a large kernel of corn down to a tiny grain of wheat. So these shake and separate the grain from the chaff. Again, the grain falls through, and there's an air blast coming up at the same time. And also back here is the straw chopper, the large pieces of straw that were cut at the head, the combine header. After the grain was removed, that straw comes back here, and we like that chopped into smaller pieces. It's easier to work on the fields next year if the pieces aren't quite so big. So from that, this point, it gets ejected and spread back out on the field hopefully the same, usually the same width as the combine header is. 